Do you have a vacation planned, but you're dreading the potential weight gain that could come along with that time off? Don't be. In today's episode, I'm going to show you four ways that you can enjoy your vacation while still maintaining your fitness. What's up, guys? Matt Wyke, Wyke Fitness. Thank you so much for tuning in to another episode. So many people have vacations set this summer where they get away, they decompress, they go with their family, they enjoy themselves. Maybe they go someplace exotic. Maybe it's just to the local beach that's near them. Uh, maybe they go to Disney. Who knows? But whatever the case, so many people work all spring or all winter and spring to get this so-called beach body or to look good for their vacation in the summer. Then, once they're on vacation, all hell breaks loose. The wheels fall off, they eat everything in sight, they end up gaining 10, 15 pounds while on vacation, they come back and they're like, what just happened? That doesn't have to be you. In this episode, I want to talk about four things that you should focus on during vacation that will not only allow you to have fun, but it'll also keep your waistline in check as well. And the first one is to make time for physical activity. Now, if you're at the beach, you could go swim in the ocean. You could go walk up and down the beach. You could run or jog in the sand. You could walk on the boardwalk. If you're just going somewhere exotic, maybe it's a hike somewhere. Maybe there's trails that you can go on. Go for a hike. If there's a gym at the facility that you're at, you can still get in a good workout, whether it's a full body workout, if you're there for a week and you decide to stay with the same you know, upper body split, or if you want to do one or two body parts per day, you can do that as well. Or I talked about this numerous times, and that's resistance bands. I'm a big um, you know, believer in, in the brand called Body Elastic. It's a brand that I use, that I have, that I have my training uh, clients use and think about buying for their home, for when they travel. And literally, it's just resistance bands. You can, you know, they come in a little uh, travel bag that you can put everything in. It's nice and neat, compact, throw it in your, in your uh, you know, suitcase and off you go. You can take it on a plane, pretty much anywhere. So resistance bands can really help even in confined spaces like hotel rooms, um, you know, pretty much anywhere, even at home. If you don't have a lot of space, just get some resistance bands. But when you're on vacation, you want to be realistic about your food choices. Obviously, you want to enjoy yourself a little bit. You know, you don't want to completely fall off the wagon and start eating everything in in, in sight, all these desserts, pizzas, french fries, you know, greasy hamburgers and, and all of that type of stuff. Or if you go to the boardwalk, you get the boardwalk fries, you get the funnel cake, maybe you get cotton candy, all that stuff. You know, keep your diet and your nutrition in check. So if you know you're going to splurge later on in the day, like say you're going to go to the boardwalk if you're at the beach, and you really, really want to get that funnel cake, then go for it. But leading up to that period, eat a little bit cleaner. You know, you don't have to eat those types of foods all day long. If you want to have a treat or a little cheat here and there, then so be it. I mean, plus you're on vacation. You want to enjoy yourself. So just think about that. If you know you're going to go out to some, um, you know, location that has the best pancakes in this part of town, then that's fine. Eat your pancakes in the morning. But then be more reasonable with your lunch and dinner. Maybe cut back a little bit and don't eat as much. Maybe you eat cleaner foods. The third thing to do is relax. That's the whole reason that you're on vacation, right? You want to decompress. You want to reduce your stress levels. That will reduce your cortisol levels. All in all... It's a time for you just to get away from the daily grind. Maybe it's time to sleep in a little bit. Maybe you're only getting the seven hours of sleep that you really need in terms of, you know, maintaining proper health and and rest and recovery. Maybe you sleep in eight hours, nine hours. 
Maybe you go to bed at 10 and you wake up at 10 next morning. Guess what? You're on vacation. You're allowed to do that. And the last thing that I want to talk about, the fourth thing on my list, is to go out and experience new things. That can also go in with the physical activity and, you know, your nutrition, whether, you know, you're going out on town to see all these different places. You can go sightsee different areas. Maybe it's an adventure. Maybe you're going on these crazy hikes or you're finding trails that you can go walk on with your family. Maybe you're visiting different locations in that area. Maybe there's a zoo. Maybe there's uh, you know, some type of water, you know, water activities, whether it's kayaking or canoeing or whitewater rafting or whatever the case may be. Go out and experience new things. That's part of why I love vacations, because it gives you a time to do things that you generally don't do. And when you're surrounded by your friends or your family, it just makes the experience so much better. So I wanted to keep this this podcast, this episode, short, brief, to the point. So again, if you're going on vacation, just remember these four simple things. And that's one, always make time for physical activity. It doesn't matter what you're doing during the day, plan something out, whether it's a walk, a hike, uh, you know, a workout in the local gym or the hotel gym. Be realistic with your nutrition is the second one. The third thing, relax. And the fourth, experience new things. I hope you guys get out this summer. I hope you enjoy something fun, whether it's a vacation or a quick little uh, you know, weekend getaway, whatever the case may be. Get out, de-stress, decompress, have some fun, hang out with loved ones and friends, and just overall enjoy yourself. Those are my four tips. I hope you guys have a great rest of your week and an amazing weekend, and I will chat with you guys next week.